Hey, it's Mike with TechPV.com, and we got a lot of shit to cover today. I keep getting emails all the time, Mike, shut up, upgrade my gun. You know, I've got a gun here, and I want to upgrade it. And here's what I can tell you first. Essentials, okay? If you are hurt, you cannot play paintball. So the first thing you need to upgrade, before you think about upgrading your gun, let's talk about other stuff that you need to upgrade. How's your pack looking? If your pack's all torn up, ripped apart, you can't hold paintballs in your pack if your pack's all ripped up. Think about upgrading your pack first. Next thing you should get, amazes me how many paintball players are out there that don't use cleats. Um, I don't know what they use. They use regular shoes or bowling shoes or whatever the hell they get. You can't play good paintball if you don't at least have a good set of cleats. Um, slip and fall, you can't make your cuts as you're darting up the X-ball field playing woods ball. Get yourself a pair of cleats first. Next thing, uh, head protection. If you're afraid of getting shot in the head, uh, you're going to hesitate when you go up the bunker somebody. Here's a nice little cap from 100th Monkey. I wear mine all the time. It's a great little uh, turtle cap uh, protecting your head in case you get shot in the head. Get yourself some head protection. Next thing, you can't shoot people out if your barrel's dirty. How's your uh, barrel swab looking? How's your squeegee looking? Get some of these before you think about upgrading your gun. Next thing, your mask. Um, if you've got a mask that's all hacked up, cut up, uh, maybe you decided to do an HK mod and drill holes in your lens, I don't know what the fuck you kids do, but Definitely, up, you know, take a look at your mask. Make sure that your mask is in good shape. If you get, if your lens is three years old and you take one point blank and it blinds you, you're not gonna be playing paintball anymore. So take a look at your mask. Upgrade your mask first. Upgrade your lens. Get some good eye protection. Next thing you want to take a look at. If you're out there wearing sweatpants, um, you're not gonna be playing good paintball. Get yourself a good pair of quality paintball pants. It's got good knee protection. It's got groin protection. You know, these are the slide paintball pants. These look great. Get yourself a good pair of paintball pants before you go and upgrade your gun. Something else to look into. Knee pads and elbow pads. Here's a good set of elbow pads, Empire elbow pads. I never leave home without them when I'm playing paintball. Okay, you'd be amazed how many times I've kneed down and put rocks, um, stakes, sprinkler heads, you name it. Um, I put it into my elbows before I got elbow pads. Ever since I've got elbow pads, I get lots of bounces off my forearms, which are great. Definitely look at getting yourself a pair of elbow pads before you think about upgrading your gun. Another thing, knee pads. Now I know some of you young players out there is what our older, you know, us old guys, we call you all flat bellies. I know you guys think you're invincible. Damn flat bellies think you're invincible, but get yourself a pair of knee pads first. You know, if you go out there and you put a stake through your knee or knee down on a rock, uh, um, an upgraded gun's not gonna do you any good at all. Definitely look at getting yourself a good pair of knee pads um, before you think about upgrading your gun. Something else too to look at? Gloves. Okay, if you're afraid of, of getting shot in the hand or getting shot in the hand kind of bothers you, get yourself a good pair of gloves. In another episode, I'm going to show you how to cut these gloves. Um, you know, a nice way of cutting these gloves. But definitely get yourself a good pair of paintball gloves. You play 10, 15, 20 games of X-Ball, you get shot six or seven times in the hand, you're not going to really want to think about playing paintball anymore. Get yourself a pair of gloves. And something else that I like to wear it has a good pair of slider shorts. It's got groin protection, okay? I've been shot in the nuts before. It sucks, okay? And if you're worried about getting shot in the nuts, you're gonna hesitate when it's time for you to go up and bunker somebody. It's also got hip protection, so when you go and sliding into your bunker, you slide over rocks or bottle caps or sprinkler heads or stakes or whatever the hell you know, they have out there on the paintball field, this is gonna protect you. The more you're protected, the longer you're gonna be able to play and the more invincible you're gonna feel when it's time to go up there and bunker somebody. Slider shorts. And that's just about it. Another thing, you know, head protection I like to wear. Um, I believe it was uh, Bunker King. I uh, had these nice little uh, head things. Out. I got nailed three times yesterday in the head. I don't know if you can see the lump on top of my head. Had I not been wearing this, I probably, I probably would be in a hospital because that really hurt. It took three shots right here, right onto the head. It's still bruised. It still hurts like shit. But I had my headband on, and it definitely helped. Okay, now that you have all of that upgraded, the next thing before I tell you to upgrade your gun is to take a look at your loader and your tank. Okay, a good loader and a good tank will do wonders on a cheap gun. Okay, you have a good loader. My favorite, uh, um, you know, my favorite uh, tanks that are out there right now, Crossfire and CP tanks. The CP tanks are great. Crossfire tanks are great. Definitely look at upgrading your tank first. You know, if you got a 3,000 psi tank, go to a 4,500. You're going to get more shots. Definitely upgrade your tank. And depending on what kind of loader that you're using, upgrade your loader first. This and this on a Titman does better than a CO2 tank and a shake and shoot on an Ego. So upgrade your tank and your loader 
first, then worry about upgrading your gun. Okay, now the next episode I'm going to have, I'm going to tell you about what my favorite guns are from $100 all the way up to $1,200, $1,300. But I wanted to cover this first. Should I upgrade your gun? Not yet. Invest the money in your essentials, your body essentials that are going to keep you on the field, and then your gun essentials such as a good tank and a good loader first, then worry about upgrading your gun. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.